Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 Chief Meteorologist Mark Schnackenberg. No wind expected overnight with an area of high pressure, so the air will be calm. But as we get into the day tomorrow, it's more of a southerly breeze, only about 5, maybe 10 miles per hour. Comfort level, looking pretty good. Dew points are low. 50s, they'll slowly start to climb as it gets a bit more muggy around here as we get into early part of next week. Those numbers will climb into the upper 60s. Now, as for the temperature departure from normal, from my highs, Temperature is going to be a little cooler than normal. Once again, we've had a couple of days of this, and that trend continues here for tomorrow, but still comfortable. Clear sky as we head through the overnight hours. We'll start the day out with sunshine tomorrow. Afternoon clouds popping up, similar to what we've had the last couple of days. We'll have that again here tomorrow. And as we head towards the evening hours, pretty quiet conditions, mostly clear sky during the evening hours. Late at night, we'll start to see a few clouds move into the picture. Notice the rain and thunderstorms to our west. This is Saturday morning. It'll stay out to our west. They'll fall apart, but clouds will slowly increase around here. Look for the sky to become mostly cloudy as we head through the day on Saturday. I do think on Sunday we'll get in a chance for a couple of showers, maybe a stray thunderstorm. 50s for overnight lows, clear sky, no wind, and daytime highs tomorrow in the 70s. Sunny start to the day with a mix of sun and clouds in the afternoon. And again, your gentle south wind. Here's your city-by-city city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. A mostly cloudy sky, upper 70s to near 80 on Saturday. Same thing on Sunday, but again, an isolated shower storm. Chance for thunderstorms. Increases Monday, Tuesday, about 30 to 40 percent chance there. Backs off just a little bit on Wednesday. These are generally afternoon storms, not anticipating anything to be severe, but something to watch, especially if you have afternoon plans or e early evening plans. There may be a couple of storms out there. Then after that, the end of the week into the following weekend, temperatures will get into the upper 80s by that Saturday and Sunday. Overnight lows mainly in the 60s.